As global economies advance, so does global demand for water. But we only have a fixed supply of the precious resource, and less than 1% of Earth's water is available for human consumption. So what role can businesses play in addressing the issue of water scarcity? Joining me to discuss is Nelson Switzer, Chief Sustainability Officer of Nestle Waters North America. Thanks for being here. Happy World Water Day. Happy World Water Day. Thank you. So, you know, the water crisis doesn't just impact these remote villages in faraway places. No. It costs the global economy $500 billion a year. Mm -hmm. You know, what are some of the challenges? Why? What are those costs? Sure, that, that, that's a great question. So, um, you know, the numbers have been, you know, all sort of all over the place and characterized in a few different ways. One, of course, is when you think about economic efficiency. So that is what happens to the change in the commodity price because water becomes more challenging to get. Mm -hmm. The second comes from what I consider to be sort of more important to me personally um, and, and to Nestle, of course, which is uh, human well-being. That is, you know, people that don't have access to clean water for sanitation and hygiene, they unfortunately suffer, uh, um, you know, their, their health suffers. Right. You know, the, 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 the disease implications are, are Lots pretty of considerable. Nutritional problems. Nutritional right. problems, absolutely, as well. Um, so without that access, you know, you can imagine the costs of healthcare go up considerably. Efficiency, people miss work, um, you know, that all contributes. Right. So water, in, in one sense, makes the world go round. And you say that yep. it is a big challenge, but it also presents opportunities for businesses. It certainly does. How are companies like Nestle tackling these challenges? Yeah, so I'm glad, I, I'm so glad to hear you frame it optimistically like that, because we <laughs> see it the same way. Well, so... I'll start with, first of all, we're looking at a market of about $600 billion to $1 trillion in, in water opportunities. So we're, you know, wow. we're bullish on water <laughs> for good reason, I think. And that's in areas like technology, that's in areas like service, and that's in infrastructure. Right? The need to ensure that we have the, the, the right infrastructure in place to deliver that clean water, to right. treat the water, to ensure that, that uh, we're, we're really uh, we're able to access what we need. Ways to make it more efficient. But let's talk about sure. bottled water. Sure. Bottled water, this is huge. For the first time, surpassed uh, soda in the U.S. Yes. Worldwide or in the U.S.? In the United States. More people are buying bottled water than bottled soda. That's amazing yes. to me. It's huge. Um, and... You, Nestle's constantly trying to find ways to make bottling water more efficient, but bottled water gets a bad rap. It costs money, it uh, costs a lot of energy, you have the plastics involved, you have refrigeration. So is bottled water part of the problem? Wow. Uh, no. I, as a matter of fact, I see it the other way. And, you know, I, I, the fact that you started off with this notion of, uh, you know, it displacing soda. Mm -hmm. You know, a soda container, for example, you know, that's a much more robust plastic that's needed because, of course, you know, to, to keep the bubbles in, uh, right. to preserve that product requires considerable amount of plastic. So when you think about the fact that now a bottle of water is replacing that, the lightweighted bottle, which Nestle invented over 20 years ago, uh, has 60% less plastic. So already we're talking about a smaller environmental footprint. On the water side of it, um, it is also the most environmentally efficient uh, uh, packaged beverage anywhere. You know, we're, we're looking at, I believe, about 1.31 uh, liters of water for every liter that's produced. That's an incredibly efficient operation. And we continue to drive and strive for more efficiency. And we don't just do it within Nestle and Nestle Waters. We also work with other partners to try to stimulate others to take on that same challenge, to become more efficient. Right, which is important because government policies come and go. Mm -hmm. As we saw recently, the Trump administration just rolled back some regulations uh, regarding waters in the U.S. Mm -hmm. How challenging is that to, to navigate? And how important is it for businesses to rise above politics? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I think the idea really is that we all have an opportunity to look inside to say what's important to us. What's, what's the risk? What's the opportunity? Um, and how does that affect your operations, your financial performance, um, your reputation? Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is, is that businesses recognized this decades ago, that it's moved beyond it's the right thing to do to this is a business imperative. Mm -hmm. This is a corporate citizenship imperative. This is a sustainability imperative. Right. So where we are now is that companies are recognizing because, as you put it, policies come and go, sometimes you need your own policies. So at Nestle Waters, we have a series of internal policies, guidelines, and standards to which we adhere. And we will continue to, regardless of what happens with, uh, with federal or local policies. With the laws, yeah. yeah. Last but not least, how is Nestle celebrating World Water Day all over the world? Yeah. You, you have celebrations everywhere. We do. Well, first of all, for Nestle Waters, every day is World Water Day. <laughs> every day is an opportunity for us to celebrate the miracle that is water. Um, the fact that, you know, as you put it, 
Only 1% of that water is really available. So we spend a lot of time on it. So we partner with folks like Project Wet. We work with the Nature Conservancy. We work with the World Wildlife uh, Federation and so on. And we do that because we know that uh, we are, if we partner through collective action, that is, we find that mutual goal that we're all interested in and we work together, that we'll be able to accomplish a lot more than, than alone. All right, Nelson Switzer of Nestle Waters. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much. Happy World Water Day. And to you.